when this came around, um, I was kind of interested in it, but they were sort of putting names next to it, which didn't really feel exciting to me. And then suddenly it became Ryan, and then it became a different situation, different opportunity. So, um, you know, and it's played out beautifully. I mean, I'm really digging working with him. He's funny as hell, man. And, um, you know, doing a couple of things, you know, that Gene Wilder might do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving me in stitches, actually. Well, a good detective movie is always going to be very complex. You know? um, one that I was in LA Confidential, that's its beauty. You know, it's, you don't know really what's going on. You know? um, and then when you find out, it's sort of all of those parts of the journey have added up. And this has that same thing, you know, in that it's very complex and very detailed, but ultimately, you know, you, you earn the right to get to the end of the story. You see, you've got, you know, one character that's got everything going for him who's just on a moral slippery slope, you know? And then you have another guy who really just wants to be useful, you know, but currently, you know, only can find a use by breaking people's arms and collecting debts, <laughs> you know? So, you know, in a way, it's that classic thing where these two guys together might actually make one whole man. You know? Both characters are played with a deep sense of sincerity, even though he's morally slippery and I'm looking to be useful or whatever. You know, there is, you know, a heart in the middle of all of these scenes. So, you know, and that's the thing that you look for. You know? And it's that thing of being able to sort of just jump off the cliff and know that he's jumped off at the same time and, you know, off we go, you know, sort of, uh, uh, it's just been enjoyable in that way, you know, a couple of days recently, I've been sitting back and thinking he's actually got some form of comic genius going on, really, seriously, so, it's cool. Sort of late 70s, but it also has a very uh, contemporary eye to it as well, you know, sort of taking sort of comedic values or things that we know from now and then applying them back to the 1970s to actually, you know, clarify what went wrong in the 70s in terms of what we should have been thinking about, you know. He's earned his reputation, Joel, you know, he's been in the business for a long time and he's had some great successes, you know. And you can see why, he's really passionate about what he does, he's on the set most days and you know, unlike a lot of other producers, he actually has a definitive creative perspective. So that's been great. You know, the other side of that too, man, is he has a wonderful film knowledge, you know, and a lot of stories to tell. So uh, it's been, it's been a, a, you know, a nice ride.